Hi everyone, in this video I will be going over what you need to do to run Bliss OS in a virtual machine after you have it installed. So I've just completed the installation of Bliss OS and you get two options here, Run Bliss OS 15.9 and Reboot. And if I select Run Bliss OS 15.9 and Grub starts up and if I select the first option, the default option, and I hit enter And so I have a blinking cursor, but it won't go any further. So what you need to do is set no mode set to force a software rendering and hardware compatibility mode. So I'm going to restart. All right, I'm back at Grub and you can hit E to edit selected. And we're gonna be editing the second bottom line. So use the arrow keys to scroll down and use the right arrow key to go all the way to the right. And we're gonna add in no mode set. So space, no mode set. And then after you're done, you hit F10 or control X and no boot. All right, and now we're at the welcome screen. Now making that change will only work for this one time. But if you want to make it permanent, that change, you'll have to go into Grub to change it. So I'm going to reboot again. And when you're at Grub, go down to Debugging. And then pick the first option, Debug. Hit Enter. All right, when you're in Debug mode, you'll be at the corn shell. And when you type in Block ID, and it's going to be Dev SDA2 that we're going to be looking for and it should automatically mount to the mount directory slash mnt but if it doesn't you can just type in mount forward slash dev sda2 forward slash mount in this case it's already mounted so i'm not going to run it and so i'm going to go into the mount directory and i'm going to go into boot list and i'm going to go into grub list and then there's the android.cfg file so I'm going to edit that. I'm going to use vi, vi android.cfg. And you can use the arrow keys and you can go down to this line here and then go to the end. And then once you're at the end, hit A to append and then space, no mode set. And then after you're done, hit the escape key once and then colon and then WQ. So this will write and quit. And then you can go back to root cd slash. You'll notice that if you try to unmount it, you'll get device or resource busy. You can just restart the VM. And once you're back at Grub, you can go back to the first option and then hit enter. And so I'm back at the welcome screen. So that's it. That's what you need to do in order to run Bliss OS in a virtual machine. I hope this video was useful and I thank you for watching. Bye now.